printing variations of an image in layers, then having light reflected from those surfaces at different angles is basically how you produce a hologram. Sound mysterious? Not for much longer. A hologram is a three-dimensional photograph produced by the interference of two laser beams. A laser emits light, this light ray. The color of the light varies according to the wavelength. A shutter, when activated, either blocks the light ray or lets it pass through. Here the beam is split in two, at a 90 degree angle. The interference of the two beams is clearly visible on this screen. It has very defined fringes. The beams need great stability because the pattern of interference projected on the screen is extremely sensitive to minute vibrations. A light tap on the table can easily spoil it completely. The team will create a hologram from this sculpture made of modeling clay. The sculpture is positioned on a support with a magnetic base which adheres to the metallic table. Then they place a glass in front of the object. Here's the exact point where the light beam passes. The table has to be perfectly stable, so it's made of a 2.2 ton block of steel, which rests on 18 air tubes. The table and laser are thus well insulated from all vibrations. The beam splitter separates the beam in two, directing one behind the object and the other in front of it. One part of the beam heads toward the front of the sculpture. The beam first passes through an objective lens, which diffuses the light. Then it's reflected by a parabolic mirror, which prevents it from losing too much of its intensity. As in photography, film is required. This holographic film is attached to a glass plate with adhesive tape. Then another glass plate is added so that the film will not move. A vibration of one-tenth of the laser's wavelength is tolerable. Now the laser is turned on. The intensity of its light ray reaches about 250 milliwatts. The normal exposure time of the model to the beam is about one second. But some holograms, made with a pulsed laser, are exposed to the light for 12 nanoseconds, an infinitely short period of time. Here we see the reference beam coming from the parabolic mirror. And here we see it from another angle. As in photography, the film has to be developed. These trays contain different chemical solutions and the developer. First, the film is soaked in the developer for two minutes. This solution blackens the silver salts, which have reacted to the light. Then the film is soaked in a solution called bleach to completely eliminate the silver salts, which blackened it. Now the film is rinsed. This step is used to eliminate the acids in the emulsion and to not contaminate the next solution. The film gently becomes transparent. It's then rinsed in clear water and it's soaked for one minute in a wetting agent which eliminates all water spots. The film is then dried and it reveals its secrets. And here's the hologram created from the sculpture. A hologram really creates a three-dimensional illusion. Some holograms can be animated. They are generated from a series of still holograms. Depending on the complexity of the project, a hologram can be produced in between one and five hours.